Hi, this is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist, and I'm back for another video blog. So I hope you enjoy what we're going to make today. I'm going to show you how to make wonderful, delicious, healthy mayonnaise in the comfort of your own home in about uh, less than five minutes. And the reason I'm showing you how to make mayonnaise is because the mayonnaise at the store, in case you haven't noticed, is pretty yucky. It's not very good, the ingredients are pretty lousy, and even the stuff at the health food store leaves a lot to be desired. Um, so making your own is really the best way to go, and once you taste uh, this homemade mayonnaise, you will understand why. There is one brand at the store, uh, you can get it at Fresh Market, but it's very expensive, and you, it comes in tiny little uh, packages called De Lewis Mayonnaise. And I believe it's made in France, and um, it is delicious, and it pretty much is the exact same ingredients that I'm going to use today to make my homemade mayonnaise. So if you want to buy it at the store and you're pressed for time, that is really the only brand that I can recommend is the De Lewis Mayo, and I've only seen it at Fresh Market. Um, so anyway, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this mayonnaise really quick. Even if you come home and you d discover you're out of mayonnaise and you need some for lunch, for sandwiches or salads or whatever, you can whip it up really quickly. So what you want to start with is a couple of eggs, um, one whole egg, and then one egg yolk. Um, and of course, use farm fresh eggs. You'll get the best tasting mayonnaise if you use good quality eggs. So you're going to start with that. And I've got my little two cup Cuisinart here, which only costs about $25. Uh, it's very inexpensive. I use it all the time. It's a fantastic little food processor. You don't need to get a $500 Vitamix um, right away if you're just starting out doing traditional cooking in your home. Just get a little $25 Cuisinart and it's fantastic. So you pour your eggs in there. And then you're going to put in a generous pinch of, pinch of sea salt. And I use uh, Redmond Real Salt. It's really, really good for cooking. And then you're going to put in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And I've got the, um, what brand is this? Woodstock Farms Organic Dijon Mustard. It's very good. Just going to put in a teaspoon here. And just start with a teaspoon. If you want a little stronger, you can add more to taste later. And then I've got a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. And then you're going to close the lid. That's it. Can you believe it? That's how easy that is. So you're just going to pulse it a couple times. Kind of mix it up. And then you're going to take one cup of sunflower oil. You can use olive oil too if you, if you want. Um, but olive oil makes kind of strong tasting mayonnaise. So I prefer sunflower oil. For those of us that eat traditionally, we do not get many omega-3s in our diet. Not too many like most Americans. Um, who get way too many omega-3s and causes a lot of inflammation. Uh, if you eat traditionally, you don't get too many, so don't feel, don't be scared of a sunflower oil here. Uh, it's got your essential omega-6s in it, and you do need some omega-6s. You don't need as many as most Americans get. But if you eat traditionally, a little sunflower oil is fine, and it's not going to be bad in your diet. If you prefer to use olive oil, you can use that too, but just realize the mayonnaise is going to be more strong tasting than if you use sunflower oil. We prefer sunflower oil in our family because it's, an, it's a milder tasting mayo and again we don't get um, too many omega-6s in our diet so it's fine. So what you're going to do is, uh, this little Cuisinart is great, it's got a little um, top here where you can drizzle in um, oils for emulsifying uh, your mayonnaise. So what you're going to do is just start pouring it in and just occasionally pulse it to emulsify the oil into the, uh, the eggs and the seasonings. Now that took about three minutes. Um, we spared you the constant whirring for three straight minutes. Uh, but the mayonnaise is now done. It's less than five minutes from when we started this video. And first let me correct myself. I think I might have said omega-3s earlier, that we don't get too many omega-3s in, in our diet. I'm talking about omega-6s. Of course, the sunflower oil is an omega-6 oil, omega-6 heavy oil. And that's what I was really uh, talking about, that most Americans get too, way too many omega-6s in their diet with their processed foods. And, um, but if you eat a traditional diet, you don't. So um, a little sunflower oil, a little omega-6 oil is fine and healthy in the diet and will not uh, cause excess inflammation like many Americans experience from getting too many of these oils. Um, okay, so we're done with our mayonnaise. I'll show you how thick it is here. 
See, look how wonderful and thick this is. And it is so delicious. Wonderful mayonnaise. And um, of course, you can also take this mayonnaise and um, separate it out and have some mayonnaise and then add a little onion powder to taste to the mayonnaise. Mix it up and it makes a great ranch dressing just by adding uh, onion powder to this basic uh, mayonnaise recipe. Now, I hope you've enjoyed our um, video blog for today. And uh, again, this is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist, wishing you all the best in the kitchen.